Good morning friends. Welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have discussed about recursive descent parser with two examples. I hope you have watched that video. If you have not watched that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss how to compute the first. Then you may get the doubt. Sir, after recursive descent parser, the next top down parser is LL1 parser. You should are supposed to discuss about the LL1 parser, but why you are discussing about the first? Because I even discussed in the last video that except recursive descent parser, all other parsers will use the parsing table to construct the parsing tree. Am I right or wrong? Now, LL1 uses the parsing table. So, to construct the parsing table for the LL1 parser, we should know about first and follow. So, in the coming videos, I will discuss about the computing the first and then I will discuss about the computing the follow with a few examples. Then we will discuss about how to construct the LL1 parsing table and LL1 parsing algorithm and then we will discuss with an example. I request you to everyone watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. So in this video, I want to discuss what are the rules or how to compute the first for all the non-terminals and the terminals. And then I will discuss with an example for better understanding. I request everyone to watch the complete video. First, let me discuss the rules or procedure for computing the first. Let me write, discuss about the rule one. If x is a terminal, terminal means what? Any grammar will consist of non-terminals and terminals. Am I right? If x is a terminal, then first of x is x only. What is their point is that if you want to compute the first of any terminal, the first of the terminal will be the terminal only. Is it clear? Please note down this point. So, I will discuss with an example. Don't worry. If x determines epsilon is a production, then what will be the x now? x is a non-terminal. Will you agree with me or not? Because if this is a production, the left hand side is x is there. So, I can say that it is a non-terminal. If x is a non-terminal and you have a production called x determines epsilon, then add epsilon to the first of x. So, first of x is now epsilon. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? If x determines y1, y2, y3, so on, yn is a production, then first of x, because we want to compute the first of x here in these two cases, it is a non-terminal. In this case, it is a terminal. Don't worry if you are not understanding these rules. I will discuss with few examples. You know, first of x is equal to first of y1. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? First of x is equal to first of y1. If first of y1 contains epsilon, then first of x is equal to first of y1 minus epsilon union first of y2. I request you to please note down these points. Okay, First of y1 because you are computing the first of x, first of x is equal to first of y1. When you are computing the first of y1, if there is an epsilon, okay, then first of x is equal to first of y1 minus epsilon union first of y2. So, you need to compute the first of y2 also and then you need to add. Now, what is the third point is that if first of yi meaning is that y1, y2, y3, so on yn that is what contains epsilon for i is equal to 1 to n that is what I have represented here y i where i is equal to 1 to n all these things contain epsilon meaning is that y1 first also contains epsilon y2 first also contains epsilon so on yn also contains epsilon then this entire production we will have x determines epsilon so that is why then add epsilon to the first of x so these are the rules to compute the first I hope you have watched the video and you have understood these rules. If you does not understand, don't worry. I will discuss with an example. Then you will understand the concept in a better way. To make you understand how to compute the first, 
I have taken a one example. Now if you look at it, first we need to find what are the non-terminals and terminals. Okay. Now what are the non-terminals? Yes, A and B are the non-terminals. Will you agree with me or not? And what are the terminals? The terminals are the symbols which are there in the right hand side of the production other than the non-terminals. Here these are the two non-terminals. So other than that one is small a is a terminal, small b is a terminal, small c is a terminal, small d is a terminal and you have an epsilon which is a terminal. Is it clear? Anyway epsilon if you consider it, if you does not consider it, does not bother because whose length is equal to 0. Now I want to compute the first of s because if it is a terminal we will say that first of a meaning is that this one then it is equal to a only I no need to use any procedure I want to compute the first of the non-terminal such as s a b now if you look at it first of a if you look at this one first of a is equal to first of small a am I right first of small a is what small a only Will you agree with me or not? How many members have understood? I don't know. Let me repeat again. This is in the production of this form. S determines small a, capital A, capital B, small b. This is in the form of this one. Y1, Y2, Y3, so on, Yn. Now what they said, first of x is equal to first of y1. So first of s is equal to first of a, where a is what? A terminal. First of a terminal is what? itself only. So first of A is equal to A only. Is it clear now? Okay. Now first of A is it clear means capital A non-terminal is equal to what? Is it clear? First of A is again it is in the form of this one. First of A is first of C. First of C is what? C is a terminal. If it is a terminal you will get C only. Are you able to understand it or not? First of A is C and even it has a production called A determines epsilon which is in the form of X determines epsilon is a production rule then add epsilon to the first of X. So first of A even consists of epsilon. I hope you have understood. Is it clear? Will you agree with me? First of A is first of C. First of C is a terminal you will get the C. Now the next production is A determines epsilon which is in the form of X determines epsilon then what it is saying add epsilon to the first of X. So add epsilon to the first of A. Now we have got the first of A. Now let me discuss about how to get the first of B. First of B is equal to first of D. First of D is what? Is a terminal. D is a terminal. First of D is D itself and then you got a epsilon then you have to add epsilon to the first of it. So now you got the first of B as D comma epsilon first of A is C comma epsilon first of S is A. I hope you have understood with this example. If you not have understood with this example how to compute the first of a terminals and non terminals don't worry in the next video I will take few more examples to make you understand how to compute the first. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.